This city has a problem. Some freak who thinks he's a hero. Today we're talking to Eric Holmes from Warner Brothers Interactive and he's going to tell us all about Batman Arkham Origin. What was the inspiration for going back in the timeline rather than progressing further in the Arkham story? Well the irony about going back is we had to go back to bring something new. We looked at a lot of ideas but this one really spoke to us. Going back to the early career space where Batman's not completely formed, where the various characters in his life haven't necessarily crystallized into who they'll be either, and the characters in many cases haven't ever even met each other before. I want to talk about the, the combat, because the combat system is something that's been often imitated. What do you think is so special about the, the combat system in Arkham Origins? I think there's just an amazing talent at Rocksteady that really delivered this core, and they really understand the, how the game should feel, you know, like what sort of timings you need on the character, how far he can move. We've tried to leverage that core and certainly added a whole bunch of new features, new abilities for Batman, but really the core, the foundation of that is the same as in the previous games. I'd like to ask if you could just give us insight on some of the new gadgets, maybe some of your favorites and what the inspiration of these gadgets are. Well, we do have a bunch of new gadgets in Arkham Origins, but there's only one of them we're revealing here at E3, and that's a gadget called the Remote Claw. It's a gadget that Batman can use for mobility, or it's a gadget he can use for offensive takedowns. So what he does is he shoots this claw, it shoots off, it hits a target, and then a second claw with a tensile line shoots out and hits another target, and then the line goes taut and gets pulled. I got to play the game. Uh, a, lot, a lot of what I played was very familiar from, from Arkham City. But there were a couple of things that, that I noticed that I thought were really cool. There were the, the enemy types, there were like the ninja enemies that actually countered you. Uh, can you talk a little more about special enemy types and what new, new kind of combat experiences we'll see in, uh, in Arkham Origins? Well, like I said before, that, that combat system is kind of sacred, right? Like the, the ability for Batman to counter enemies, the ability for him to dodge and mix in gadgets. There's just magic in that system. So the enemies that we've added are kind of surgical additions on top of that, which add new types of ways to fight, new types of ways to break your rhythm, or different ways to use the gadgets that you have. So the ninja guy you mentioned, he's called the martial artist in the game, and you're right, he fights like Batman. He can counter like Batman can, and then Batman can counter him again. The other type that we're showing here at E3 is a character called the Armored Enforcer. So he's a much bigger character, he's a giant. What we're really excited about with these, both of these new characters and the other ones we've added to the game is that these characters will be in the open world as well. So part of our demo here is a thing called the Crime in Progress system. What they're doing is they're actually actively doing a crime and Batman can step in and intercept that crime and stop them. Let me go! If you insist. As this is an origin story, this is before Batman has gained the trust of the Gotham City Police. What role will the police play in this game? Well, there's a couple of roles the police will play. Um, I can't give you too much information about it because of the story reveals, but you're right, at this point, Batman's a vigilante, uh, and he's not trusted by the police. He's an outlaw considered to them. There's also a police uh, lieutenant, I believe, just to make sure I get the rank right, Lieutenant Brandon, and he's the head of the SWAT department. He's a guy who is known for running a very trigger-happy SWAT team, and these guys actively hunt Batman and are trying to move in and kill him and then take the prize from the from even from the assassins. We have a very dangerous relationship with the police department. So so Batman is the, the world's greatest detective. And in prior Batman games, they, they had this detective mode, but uh, it was really used mostly to, to point Batman in the direction of where he needed to go next. It never really uh, explored the, the aspect of being a detective. This game changes that. Can you kind of go into that whole thing? Absolutely. So the, the previous games Rocksteady did had this really, obviously, the fantastic detective vision where you'd use it to be aware of where enemies were, particularly when you're doing the stealth gameplay. And there was a couple of places where you'd sometimes follow trails of evidence, um, blood or uh, certain particles of uh, tobacco and breath. So we were very inspired by that, and we felt it was something we could do to push that further. So what we did was we developed a system we called a case file system. And what this is, is these are crime scenes that Batman comes across in the game. And uh, at these crime scenes, he can use the combination of sensors built into his cowl and the supercomputing power of the back computer back at the Batcave to analyze that evidence and then visualize what deposited that evidence. If he finds blood 
the blood might rewind back into the person that it came from and we see where they were standing and how it came out. Arkham Origins introduces the Batwing as a fast travel uh, mechanic, is that correct? That's right, Batman can fast travel around a whole network of nodes which he unlocks through the game between uh, the North Island and the South Island and a whole bunch of locations in between. Right. Can I ask what the scale of this world is compared to the other Arkham games? Are we going to expect a larger world and that's one of the reasons we have fast travel? Absolutely. Uh, Arkham Origins is over twice the size of Arkham City in terms of just sheer real estate. And you can walk that path, you can glide and grapple across that path from one tip of that one island to the far tip of the other, but you can also fast travel to any of these points you've unlocked through the game too. One of the big things about the story of what we know so far about Arkham Origins is that Black Mask has these assassins that he's hired, and we know of Deathstroke, Deadshot. I, I don't suppose you can maybe give us some hints on who else is going to be part of that assassin group, uh, could you? I can tell you that there will be lots of information between now and October 25th. But, All right. Uh, we're not revealing anyone else today. All right, you forced my hand. Uh, I'm going to list out a bunch of characters from the Batman universe, and your facial reaction will uh, will tell us. Uh, Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. James is an expert facial reader, so he will whisper in my ear what what you are saying. All right, Scarecrow, uh, Calendar Man. James, just just tell me what you said about those two. Uh, I think that they were. That's all not whispering. They're all in the game! <laughs> all right, well, that's obviously not confirmed. Can you tell us a uh, release date? It's October 25th on PS3, 360, uh, Wii U, and uh, PC. And there's also Batman uh, Arkham Origins Blackgate on 3DS and Vita on the same day. All right, guys, Batman Arkham Origins, check it out.